Hey everyone, I wanted to show you and give you an update on uh, the hard drive situation in my Dell tower. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is show you how to remove one of these bays. And the reason I'm doing this is I have a, um, another solid state drive that I'm putting in here for a, a smaller one that I have mounted, which I've shown in a previous video. Uh, but this one is 480 gigabyte. So I'm gonna be running my system from this drive and I'm going to clone my operating system from the current solid state to this one. And this will be my new uh, boot up drive and uh, Windows program uh, will run from this solid state. But I have two other hard drives in here and I realize it's not intuitive how to get them out. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a close up. Uh, first of all, I removed the screws and you can see them down here uh, sitting on the desk and uh, then the screws are from these two uh, came out of these two holes and um, next I'm going to take the wires off one is for the data and the other is for the power uh, to power the hard drive and I'll let you take a look at that uh, they just pull right out uh, I noticed the one for the data drive uh, for the data, the cable uh, has a sharp turn down and it's a little bit tight in there, but it does come out. Just work with it and pull it right out and uh, pull the power out. And what I couldn't figure out, and I, I was trying to lift it and everything, then I realized it slides and you kind of have to just give it a good pull and it comes right out. And so obviously you can see uh, right here where there's four of these holes and slots that the four feet slide into. And so that's what holds the hard drive bay in place. And then the hard drive is attached with screws. Uh, so to get the hard drive out, you would just unscrew them and the hard drive will come right out. Um, so anyway, I wanted to show you that because like I said, it wasn't intuitive how to get it out of there once it was unscrewed. It didn't, did not make any sense to me. And I was looking at it for a while and I gave it a, a hard tug and it came right out. And uh, so then to place it back, you just have to lay it down in there, lined up and give it a good push and it snaps in place. And then you'd be able to put those two screws back in and the cables on and reverse the process and, and you're finished. Um, but I don't really need to take that out right now. I'm just going to attach this just long enough to um, clone this drive and then I'm going to uh, physically open open this again or, or detach it again and put it into the drive bay where my current solid state drive is, is just kind of sitting there because I don't have it really attached hard. And this one, I'm not even sure how big this is, but um, I've tried to keep the memory not, I don't run any programs from here, but sometimes a program defaults and wants to install on the C drive. So I have one or two that's running from there. It's kind of annoying um, because I forgot to install them on the hard, harder drives. And I could on the hard, the two, one of the two hard drives. I could do that, but anyway, I'm just running into some memory issues. This one more than take care of it. This one has three times the memory basically of this. I think this is 150 uh, gigabyte and the new one I'm going to install as the oper for the operating system is 480 gigabyte. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'll post a link to my other videos on how to open this box. It's super easy to open. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.